In today's video, I want to show you guys how to remove stuck filament to your 3D printer's build plate. So I just got done 3D printing some files here in this 3D printer, and I'm having tons of issues with the filament being stuck on the build plate. I want to show you five different methods on how to get your stuck 3D printed files off of the build plate. We got a bunch of tools here and chemicals, so let's get to it. The first method to removing the stuck files on your build plate is to bend your build plate. And I know this seems really simple here, but a lot of times this does work. Sometimes if you have a smaller build plate, it just doesn't work though. And chances are you may have tried this. So let's move on to the next technique. So the next method is printing a scraper. And it really helps to 3D print this scraper in PET G because it's gonna be a harder material, obviously. And what you can do with your scraper, if the edge kind of gets wore down because we want kind of a sharper edge on here, right? What you can do is take some sandpaper and kind of just make it so that it's sharper. I usually use like 80 grit or 100 grit and it really kind of helps. What we want to do here is take your scraper, bring your build plate over here and then kind of just try to use like blunt force to kind of push it off. See, as you can see, I've been having a lot of issues with this material coming off this build plate and it just is not working. All right, this next method is using a pallet knife. And I know this is a very particular piece. I'll throw a link in the description of this tool, but it's almost like it's metal, but it's sharp and it's rounded. So it's not gonna harm your build plate, which is very important. Now, as you can see here, what we can kind of do here is kind of just take the rounded end here and just slowly kind of pick away at this. And you got to be careful because the 3D print build plates, we don't want to take the finish off of them. And it's kind of scary because, you know, metal on metal can be very frightening as far as when something's finished. See how well that worked? Again, I'll throw a link in the description. This thing has saved me over and over. Another really popular method to getting stuck filament off your build plate is actually remove it from the 3D printer, bring it over to your freezer at home, and just plop it in there for a bit. We're gonna let that sit for maybe like 20 minutes or so. One eternity later. And what happens with the filament on the build plate is the plastic actually shrinks a little bit and almost becomes like more brittle and it's just easier to get off. So let's go try to get it off now. All right, so let's have attempt now with the plastic scraper. See, it does work. A lot of times, a lot of blunt force. And also what you can do is find yourself a little helper with a lot more force and energy than yourself. Yeah, so yeah, that works pretty well. All right, our next method to removing stuck models on the build plate is using something kind of sharp, like a pick. I have a pick here and a toothpick. And I guess this isn't rocket science, but we, what we're trying to do here is put the corner here in the edge of the 3D prints that's stuck or the filament that's stuck on your build plate. Sometimes though, a toothpick, you know, wood just isn't gonna cut it. You can kind of see that it's destroying the toothpick. But if you have a metal pick here, again, you gotta be very careful and kind of tedious. What we wanna do here is just get to that corner of this. And, you know, honestly, I much prefer using this palette knife just because it, it works just, I can't find a tool that works better than this. See, all I have to do is kind of like put this rounded edge at the corner of the filament and it just, it just works so well. And again, each individual part that is stuck is gonna be different, you know? Like if it's super thin, the super thin stuff is almost the hardest to get off I've found. All right, and the last tactic or method to removing stuck filament to your build plate is actually using isopropyl alcohol. I've tried this a lot, it's very popular. So what you do here is you get some isopropyl alcohol. I actually have, a, I put a spray bottle end inside these bottles, it just seems to work great. What I do is I spray a paper towel until it's pretty moist, right? And what you can do here is you just lay it over the filament. So what you do is you allow that to soak for maybe like 15 to 30 minutes and then you come back and then you use your desired scraper and it is said that it's easier to come off of the build plate because the isopropyl alcohol kind of breaks it down. I haven't had good luck with this, but it does work, I imagine, a lot better when you have like super thin layers that are stuck to it, like those first layers. But for something like this, I have found that this palette knife is just the go-to tool. I kind of just get on the edge of it and I kind of just sit there and chip away at it. So hopefully this video helped you learn how to remove stuck filament from your build plate, or maybe you have a stuck 3D printed file. Some of you guys are still using glue, and I imagine, you know, that's extremely tough to get off. Some people use putty knives with a hammer. I really don't 
that's not my favorite method whatsoever. Thanks for checking out the video guys and don't forget to subscribe and leave comments down below. And again, all the links will be in the description.